equations and these methods all would involve what we call elimination. When we've got all the y's and the x's on the same side then it's often easier to eliminate x's and y's by subtracting or adding the two equations. Now here what we can see is we've got the same number of x's, you've got one x here and one x here. So if we were to take the top equation away from the bottom equation then all the x's would cancel. So let's do that. So this is equation A, this is equation B. So I'm going to do equation B minus equation A. So take the y away from the 2y, leaves me y. Take the x away from the x, leaves me nothing. 4 minus 6 leaves me minus 2, and I found my y value. So I'm going to substitute y equals minus 2 into, let's pick one of these equations, I'm going to go for the top one, a, because I think it would be easier that way. So, y equals minus 2, so put minus 2 where all the y is. And then I got plus x, and that equals 6. I got minus 2 added on to x, so what I need to do is get rid of that minus 2, so I need to add 2 to both sides. Add 2 onto that, I get to naught, and leaves me just x. Add 2 onto this side, I get x equals 8. And I have found my pair of solutions, which satisfy both simultaneous equations. Now you can always check your simultaneous equations are right by putting the numbers back in. Let's put them both back into a. So let's put minus 2 plus 8, and we can see that equals 6, so that's right. And for b, I can put my minus 2 and 8 into here, so I get 2 times minus 2 um, plus 8, and that equals minus 4 plus 8, and we can see that equals 4, so that is right too. So we can see we've got these two equations right. Now this equation is a little bit different. We now have minus x and plus x, still the same number of x's, but we can't take one equation away from this, because you do x minus minus x, you get 2x, and you do minus x minus x, you get minus 2x, so that won't cancel. So when you have the signs different for the same thing, we're going to need to add the two equations together to cancel. If we add minus x and x together, we get nothing, so we can cancel out the x's that way. So here we have equation A, and here we have equation B. And we're now going to do equation A plus equation B. So y plus 2y is 3y. x plus minus x is nothing. 9 plus 6 is 15. So 3y equals 15. Divide both sides by 3. We get y equals 5. Let's substitute y equals 5 into A. So we get 5 minus x equals 6. So take away 5 from both sides, and we get minus x equals 1. So if we change the sign of both sides, i.e. times by minus 1, or flip them round, whichever way you like to think about it, we can see that x equals minus 1. And here are our two answers. And once again, you can put them back in to check. 5 minus minus 1, that gives me a plus, so 6. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 gives me 9, and it works. Right, in this question, neither the x is the same nor the y's are the same, so there's no way to just take one away from the other or add them together to cancel. So we have to change equations, and the way we change equations is we multiply equations. Now, we multiply this equation by any number. There's no nice numbers we can multiply this equation to make the y's equal to the x's. So what we're going to do, we're going to multiply both equations. I'm going to try and eliminate the y's here, just to show you a different example. So I'm going to times the top equation by 2, that gives me 6y, and the bottom equation by 3 to get a 6y. So times this one by 2, and we get 6y minus 4x equals 14 times this equation by 3, and I will get 6y plus 9x equals 27. I'm going to call that equation A and that equation B. Now, I want 
to eliminate uh, the Y's. And the only way I can do it by taking away. And the most sensible way is to take the top one away from the bottom one. That means we stay positive on the X's. So if we do B minus A, 6Y away from 6Y is nothing. 9X minus minus 4X, so we get double minus, gives us a plus, gives us 13X. 27 minus 14 is also 13. Divide both sides by 13, and x equals 1. So, let's substitute x equals 1 into one of the equations. No matter which of the four equations we do, we've got to substitute into 1. I'm going to go for the top one here, a. Just to keep it easy, because I haven't labelled these with anything. So, substitute x equals 1 into a. So, we get 6y minus 4. 4 times 1 is 4 equals 14. So 6y, add 4 to this side, I get 6y, add 4 to this side, I get 18. And y equals 3. And I've got my two values. Let's just check they work. So 1 and 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2, take it away, I get 7, that works. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, add them together, I get 9. So I've got my answer right.